Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Thomas. Today we're back here with Death Battle, and today we got an archery showdown from DC and Marvel. And before I ask, yeah, this is actually a pretty old one from the, you know, screw attack days. So this one's Green Arrow and Hawkeye, two of the best, you know, comic book archers out there. So it's gonna be interesting to see who wins this shoot off, huh? So be sure to like subscribe for more. Hope you enjoy. Here we go. Since its creation in the Stone Age, the bow and arrow forever revolutionized hunting and warfare. Mm -hmm. But these two archers have honed their bow skills to a degree of pure artistry. Pretty much. Green Arrow, the Emerald Archer of Star City. And Hawkeye, purple clad trick shooter of the Avengers. He's whiz yep. on Boomstick. Two men normally make an impossible shot. Weapons, armor, right, and face skills. Off. Here we go. Who would win a death battle? Shall we begin? First up. Allow me to tell you the tale of an Robin archer Hood. garbage green who this case, justice green to the rich and champion the poor. I speak, of course, of the legendary outlaw named Oliver Queen. There we go. What, you think I meant Robin Hood? Come on. Oliver there was inspiration. Was the son of Robert and Moira Queen, <laughs> billionaire really? owners of the weapons the and technology Robin development Hood. company Queen and Chili so spicy, Green Lantern's will broke. Oliver huh. was on track to inherit the family business and fortune but it all ended up coming much sooner than anybody expected. While on safari, which rich people apparently just do all the time, oh, Oliver's parents were oh, murdered oof. by lions. No, Shit. I'm not kidding, but hey, mom got off a wicked headshot before she went out. The family Damn, fortune mom. and business were now in Oliver's hands. However, desperate to forget the horrible trauma of his parents' death by lions, Yuck. he turned to a lifestyle of booze and debauchery. I uh, probably would too. Way to cope. Well, until one day he partied so hard that he fell off his private yacht. Hate it when that Whoops. happens. Eventually, he Man, washed oh up onto the shore of a lone island, Tom Hanks style. <laughs> Desperate to survive, Oliver knew he must resort to the archery training taught to him by his late father. He assembled a <laughs> makeshift bow and, over time, gained an uncanny accuracy with the weapon. With Thank each successful kill, so Oliver's self-reliance like, needed for every shot. Makes the sense. responsible playboy into a capable survivor. And just in time. Turns out this island was home to a massive drug smuggling operation. <laughs> How he yes. didn't find them earlier is beyond me, but whatever. Oops. With nothing but his hunter's instincts and some newly improvised trick arrows, Oliver brought down the dealers, radioed in a rescue, and returned to Star City a new man. With a newfound oh. taste for justice, Oliver vowed he would no longer waste his talents and use them to hey, protect the out. innocent. <laughs> to do this, he would have to become someone else. Something else. He became the Green, Green Arrow. <laughs> True to his namesake, the Green Arrow favors a bow over cocky else. And, and while that may sound like it puts him at a disadvantage, he's developed trick arrows for every situation. And I do mean every situation. He hey, gotta be prepared for everything. Arrows, grappling hook arrows, flashbang arrows, even arrows filled with acid. Is that the one for the Grateful Dead concerts? Wrong acid. No, no, no. Corrosive acid. It, oh, it burns through glove. things. That'd be fun. He oh, also has arrow. boomerang Down arrows, tipped. along with diamond-tipped arrows to pierce just about anything. Cool. Explosive arrows ranging from small blasts to an atomic Comic warhead. warhead. Damn. And, uh, the boxing glove arrow. <laughs> Silly as it may appear, Oliver only kills when it's absolutely necessary. So delivering a long-range punch to the face makes some sense. At least more so um, than many of the other trick arrows fair. in his quiver. Like the donut arrow, a eh? weapon designed to feed children. It's dangerous and delicious. Pretty much. Green Arrow likes to come to a fight prepared, and his expertise extends beyond just the use of a bow. He has extensive training in assassination and martial hey, arts under some of the best teachers around, including Natas, the man who turned Deathstroke into one of the deadliest mercenaries really? in the world. So Deathstroke's Green trainer. Arrow became huh. such a cool. skilled fighter that he was voted into the Justice League, saving the world alongside the likes of Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman, and Black Canary, a smoking hot blonde who he took a liking to. Don't mind. Gotta check out Black Canary. Do we need to do her battles? Are we dead yet? No. Are we dead yet? <laughs> Being a part of the Justice League has pit Green Arrow against foes powerful enough to be called gods, and somehow he not only survives, but he actually helps. 
He's mm -hmm. fast enough to fire 29 arrows in one minute. His accuracy Dang, is so on point, he is able to shoot water dripping from a faucet at 30 feet away and split a grape balanced on a man's head. I wonder how far he was for that. He'll do whatever it takes Ooh. to get the job done. Like shooting a girl's hand to keep her from falling. Ow. Or... Yeah, torture? Torture. There's no way around it. He tortures people. But it's for the greater good, oh, right? Geez, of course. Air. But even with all his trick arrows, his quiver does have limited space. And he prefers to keep his armor minimal, focusing instead on offense over defense. Mm. But hey, he's not all so arrows. So a glass cannon killing. in a way. Eventually, he and Black Canary got together and started up a flower shop called Sherwood Florist. Eh, uh, why not? As an expert on puns. <laughs> good job, Holly. Holly. Good job. One arrow each. I accept your challenge on three. One, two, three. Man, really goes to show you the fact that he's able to give so-called gods like a fight like that. This is the same world of Batman, Superman, Flash. Like, there are a lot of supervillains in there that could probably take a normal archer down, but... This archer? Nope. <laughs> he thrives. So, there's the survivor green arrow. Well, let's check out Hawkeye and see his deal, shall we? A oh, hero can come from anywhere. From the streets of New York, the depths of space, or a tiny rural home in Iowa. But <laughs> growing up in the middle of nowhere wasn't easy for 13-year-old Clint Barton. Turns out his dad had some bad habits. Dickhead. Like being an alcoholic or beating the shit out of his sons, Clinton Barney. Eesh. After years of abuse, Clint longed to fight back and defend his Poor family Clint. from his violent father. Obviously a bit too much to ask of a 13-year-old child. Luckily enough, his dad's car did the job for him, Oof. along with a big tree. Ouch. Remember, kids, drinking and driving is not okay. I mean, do you want this to be you? No That's kidding. what I thought. Orphaned by DWI, Clint and Barney had a second chance at a family and were adopted by a new dad, who was just as bad as the first. Maybe even more. Dad number two tried to run him down with his car. What did until he do? they were rescued by circus performers Jacques and Buck, who took Jacques. them under their wing and into okay. the Carson Carnival of Traveling Wonders. These guys yeah, saw potential in Clint's natural bow and arrow talent and Ooh. began his archery training. Clint's skill rose rapidly, and he soon took the stage as Hawkeye, the trick shooter. In only one year, Hawkeye became really a master here? of his craft, but a rift formed between teacher and student when he discovered Jacques was stealing money from the circus and training his brother Barney to be a thief. Jeez. Turns out Christ. the two heroes who rescued them were Bell. actually super villains. What's with these kids look? Did they like open an umbrella I... inside which scared a black cat to dart under a ladder which fell and broke a mirror reflecting the sun's rays to burn down a field of four-leaf clovers? I don't no, know. That happened to Nick. What? What? Anyway, Nick? Clint hated the idea of working for a yeah, couple of tea bags and ran away. Lucky for him, all it took to find a new calling in life was to see Iron Man soaring overhead. <laughs> Another alcoholic father figure. At least the fun one this time. Inspired to use his talents to fight criminals just like the Iron Avenger, Clint took up his old stage name, donned his circus costume once more, and crafted a wide assortment of multi-use trick arrows. And tick, 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 boom. boom. Hawkeye's putty arrows cover foes in glue. His acid arrows can melt through steel. He can scale buildings with suction-tipped arrows. His adamantium arrows are tipped in nearly indestructible metal. Hell, Damn, one of his arrows is a 30 megaton bomb. He also carries Pym Particle in? Trick Arrows. Pym Particles shrink or enlarge objects via shifting matter between dimensions. Not even sure how that's possible. Hawkeye uses this dimensional wizardry to shoot an arrow which is literally full of other arrows. Mm -hmm. With his quiver loaded full Good, uh, of impossibility, Hawkeye took to the city to begin his crusade against injustice. But on his first outing while trying to return some stolen jewels, the police mistook him for a thief. And it really didn't help that he fled the scene with then infamous criminal Black Widow. Well, what? he knew better, but if Damn, there's one thing the guy for... does when Ouch. he's conflicted, it's not ask questions and follow where the old chef takes you. Womp, womp. And no, I'm not talking about a trick arrow. So he helped Black Widow until one of their shenanigans resulted in her apparent death. 
Believing he was free from the grip of the succubus, he remembered that crime is bad. There you go. Welcome back. The Avengers. Not just the Avengers. Over the years, Hawkeye's lent his bow to other super teams, such as the Thunderbolts and the Defenders. Avengers, Defenders, Thunderbolts. I make any team better. In the midst okay, of highly Hawkeye. advanced armor, rage-fueled monsters, and gods from other dimensions, mm -hmm. you'd think a simple archer would be of little use. But Hawkeye's feats prove he is anything but simple. Hawkeye can shoot True. four incoming arrows out of the sky at once, shatter the bow of a distant archer with a single shot, and string his whole bow and fire an arrow in less than a second. Plus, his aim is Damn. so good, he'll hit bullseyes when he's strapped to what I like to call Satan's carousel. Oh my God, but how? he is more than just an archer. After grueling training under Captain America, Clint temporarily set aside the Hawkeye suit to become oh, the Ronin. Samurai Ronin. The result even impressed Damn. Iron Fist, one of the greatest martial artists in the world. Damn. And for a supposedly normal human, he's surprisingly tough. He's shaken off falls from several stories, Oof. fought in battles with cracked ribs, and managed to not die from this. Luckily for Hawkeye, Ooh, a kid lucky. with a Ghostbusters 2 shirt found him and alerted the paramedics. And he made a complete recovery within six weeks. Who are you gonna call? The hospital <laughs> yeah, no Quick, kidding. holy shit, there was like a hundred bullets yeah. bleeding everywhere. A reminder the that even that he didn't the bleed out there isn't always bulletproof. <laughs> But after this, Hawkeye's buddy Tony Stark upgraded his outfit to include some chainmail. So that's Andy. Thanks, bro. But it can't cover everything. Plus, Hawkeye can only carry so many trick arrows at once and has to make every shot count. Also, mm -hmm. he's kind of hard of hearing, but you would be too if a death? psychopath hid behind a door and jammed two arrows in your ears. Yeah. But Tony also made him some kick-ass hearing aids. Though if they get damaged, he'd lose about 80% of his hearing. Yes. Still, as an Avenger, Defender, and so much more, Hawkeye has accomplished a lot for a circus performer from Iowa. Okay, look, the city's flying. We're fighting an army of robots. And I have a bow and arrow. None of this makes sense. Oh, you get... Man, fuck off! But I'm going back out there because it's my job. If you step out that door, you are an Avenger. Yeah, that's basically Clint's life in a nutshell, just getting dragged from one potential adventure to another. So, all that's left is to see who wins this thing. So, both arches are pretty good, but, well, good's not gonna cut it. So, let's see who proves themselves the best. Good luck, guys. Let's begin the fight. Hmm. Hmm. It's like two music. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Oliver, what you going on up here? <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, looks like Clint decided to show up. Here we go. Arrows notched. And five. Here we go. And five. Oh! Yes, I can dodge and shoot at the same time. Not today, sweetheart. <laughs> See how this goes. Nope. You're gonna try to out archer me? This is how it's done. Oh, pin particles. Something about this. Yep, there it comes. Very not right. Incoming. What? Just drop the momentum. Heads up. Looks like Hawkeyes are trying to get close now. Woohoo! Yeah, nope. Ah! Hm. Oh! Ah! Right in the face! Well, if he had a backup, but uh. Oh. What's the narrow there? Shot. Punk. Let's see. Five each? Here we go. The reaction there, all oh, 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 right on the leg. This takes real skill, you know. Mm -hmm. World's greatest marksman at your service. <laughs> now she's gonna stick the boxing glove arrow when it hits. It makes this <laughs> it's like, wait, what kind of sound? I record it and make it my ringtone. 
<laughs> Let's see if we can. Oh, <laughs> just nope. You remind me of my circus days, clown. What's that one? One little I'm for one that one. Big boom. Very much. I like not getting blown up. Eh, fair. Oh, heads up. <laughs> You're not brash if you could back it up. Well, let's see. Oh, oh it's going forward now. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh, that like you're in a stress. I recommend acupuncture, green arrow style. Oh, I guess they're going for their strongest arrows. See, and Animanium beats Diamond, and Hawkeye beats Green Arrow. Oof. Ha! Eat your heart out, Robin Hood. Oh, oh, that's tall as girl, it. too. <laughs> shot for shot, arrow for arrow, Green Arrow and Hawkeye are a well-made match, making this an extremely Hi, guys. close fight. Green Arrow has pulled off some ridiculous shots, but when Hawkeye is at his best, it's nearly impossible for any mortal man to hit him. We're really? talking about a guy who catches arrows in his bare hands, even when he's been blinded. Oof. Both archers wield impressive bows, too. An average bow needs as much as 80 pounds of force to pull. Mm -hmm. Green Arrows has an impressive draw weight of 125 pounds. However, Hawkeye's what, is what's... double that at 250 really? pounds. 250? This is the same bow Whew. he can fire at near machine gun speeds. That's a Even lot a of force. Than Green Arrow while wearing chainmail. Oliver yeah, Bay he's a lot strong. For just about any situation. But he didn't have one for making him faster, stronger, and tougher than Hawkeye. Nope. Looks like Green Arrow got shafted. The winner is Hawkeye. <laughs> yep. Looks like this country hero. Uh, sorry. The country archer beats the city archer. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> huh. Which, again, considering the double of the drawstring pull. Seems almost like a complete victory for Hawkeye. I mean, shot for shot, I think it could pretty much counter anything. It was going to take down that... It was going to be like a... Who can fire that last shot first? Which, in this case, it would be Hawkeye. Because, remember, near machine gun speeds. And, well... Well, nearly impossible to hit. So, it was pretty much a stomp against Green Arrow. So, Clint Barton wins. So, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.